deal, bro. Do you remember Endor? Endor, Endor. Let me think. Oh, you mean the place where we got our asses handed to us by a bunch of weekend warriors and their pet teddy bears? Of course I remember Endor, you jackass. But have you thought about it? We're the largest, most highly trained, technologically advanced military in the galaxy, right? Mm -hmm. We are feared throughout all occupied territories for our use of deadly force. Uh huh. And among other things, we're known for our accuracy. Hell yeah, we are. Empire for life! So please tell me how I can take about 100 shots at that guy Han Solo and miss every single one of them. He wasn't even using cover. He was just squatting in a doorway with his eyes squeezed shut. <sighs> The guy should be Swiss cheese right now. I don't know, man. Maybe you were having an off day. Oh, right. An off day. Why didn't I think of that? I know why. Because no one hit him. Hundreds of ruthless killers firing at a single point and not one hit landed? That's not an off day. It's a complete disregard for the laws of probability. Fair point. I can't stop thinking about it. I've gone over it again and again, and the only explanation I can come up with is we simply were not allowed to shoot him. Not allowed to shoot him? Why wouldn't we be allowed to shoot him? Our orders were to shoot him. No, 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 you're not following me. I don't think we were allowed to shoot him, because I believe we are living in a simulation right now. Uh... And I think our role in the simulation is to lose. Like, constantly. Like, so much and so badly that it's starting to not make sense. Okay, buddy. I'm serious. Haven't you ever noticed that we always seem to have the upper hand and then always lose? Like, systematically. Come on. This has been a great day. We're the ace in the hole right now. We've got the high-value target. Yeah? They've got the Mandalorian trapped. Uh -huh. The bases are loaded. Yeah, but... We're in the end zone. Our hand is stacked. Seriously, there aren't enough metaphors to properly describe how hard we're about to win today. Okay, look. I know it seems that way, but I'm going to give you an empirical demonstration right now. See that hunk of junk over there? Uh-huh. I'm naming it Han Solo. Hey, Han Solo, eat this. Come on, you did that on purpose. You didn't even try to hit it. Okay, hot shot. Why don't you try it? Try and hit Han Solo. No problem. What the f did you do that on purpose? Come on! That, that, that's just psychology, man. You got in my head. Just hit the frickin' can. Huh. Look at us. Scary names, laser guns, cool armor. We're supposed to be badasses. We've been trusted enough to deliver this high-value target. But can Solo over there? It represents darker implications. <laughs> so what kind of darker implications? The reality That's is supposed funny. to be that we're well-trained soldiers with good aim, right? And maybe Endor was like a case of bad luck. Right. But the canister, that piece of stationary junk that two expert soldiers can't hit, it completely shatters the illusion of reality. Us not being able to hit it is so stupid, it confirms my theory. Which is? We are bad guys in a simulation that is stacked against us. Because only bad guys would be set up to fail so spectacularly. Nothing is real. What? I'm real. Oh, you're real? Yeah. What's your name? Screw you, dude. You know my name. Oh, I know it. I want to hear you say it. This is so stupid. I'm not going to say my name. You called dispatch earlier and literally said, Speeder bikes have arrived. What kind of protocol is that? Why not Trooper Frank reporting in or out of TK-421? Face it, we're not real, and we rate so low in the simulation we don't even get names. I have a name. Then what is it, dude? Say it. <sighs> Dispatch, this is Trooper One, just running a routine security check. Can you verify my identity? You got it. I am speaking to Biker Scout Trooper Number One. Loud and clear. Over. Fuck. Look, I hate this as much as you do, but face it. We're trapped in a prison. The first step in escaping a prison, however, is realizing you're in a prison, which we are doing right now. So if we work together, we can get through this and become truly free. We can break the system. All right, man, how, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is ditch this baby. No way, we have orders to bring it in. That's the simulation talking. The only reason you and I are here right now having this conversation is because of that baby, this impossibly adorable baby. Han Solo, the Mandalorian, 
they are the reason the simulation exists. And if I'm right, then the baby will be fine no matter what we do. We can put it down and ride away, and somehow this baby will be safe. But you and I? We're not safe. Not as long as we've got this baby. So I don't know, let, let's blast it. Blast it? Not an option. There's no way the simulation is going to let you blast something so cute. But I, I punched it earlier. If you're right, then why was I able to punch it? I admit, that was a little weird you were able to punch it. Aurora's would have bring it in alive, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense you were able to put it in danger like that. You almost even changed my mind because it made so little sense from a narrative perspective. But after the can, I realized you were supposed to punch it. Wh what? Yeah, it's what the simulation wanted. Why would the simulation want me to punch a baby? I'll tell you why. Because the simulation has been defying the laws of probability for so long, we've become a joke. I am so confused. Punching a baby isn't funny. This may be one of the biggest atrocities I've ever committed. Where's the joke? The joke is how much stormtroopers suck. If my calculations are correct, we stopped being a threat a long time ago. In fact, we suck so badly that it retroactively undermines any instance where we were ever perceived as a threat. Our suckiness creates a paradox, and in order for the simulation to continue, it needs to acknowledge the paradox in some way or it risks collapsing under the weight of improbability. I think we're being set up as sacrifices to the paradox. Sacrifice? What do you mean? Does, do you mean we're gonna die? <sighs> Probably. And for laughs. Shit, man, I don't want my death to be a joke. Yeah, neither do I. So what do you want? I wanna get out of here. Yeah. Let's just put the baby down on the ground and get out of here. He'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry I punched you, little guy. I was a totally different person back then. Come on, man. Let's start a new timeline where we take off our helmets and become real boys. Let's deliver on the promise of a cool renegade stormtrooper story. Oh yeah. I'm starting to feel better already. I feel like I could do anything. You can do anything. What do you want the most? I... I think I want force powers. Oh man, how freaking awesome would that be? I've always wanted to go ice fishing. You want to go ice fishing with me? Um, yes. I didn't know I wanted to do that until now. Okay, then let's ditch the baby and go ice fishing. All right, man. Let's do it. Let's break the system. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Let's fish some ice! Whoa. Creepy Joy, 12 o'clock. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Where do droids rate in your simulation theory? I haven't decided. Sometimes they seem important, almost as important as people. Other times I feel like their pain and suffering are played up for laughs. Well, how do we figure out which one this is? Judging by the convenient timing of its appearance out here in the middle of nowhere, I'd say there's a good bet he's here to kill us because you punched the baby. But I didn't want to. You said it yourself. I was supposed to. <sighs> chill, chill. We can figure this out. Remember, we're self-aware now. We just have to subvert any expectations the simulation has about us and we'll be okay. Okay, so what then? We, we do the opposite of whatever our instincts tell us to do? Exactly, exactly. So what are your instincts telling you to do with the droid right now? Well, first I wanted to shoot it. Uh huh. But then after this conversation, my instinct is to not shoot it. Uh huh. So, should I shoot it? Shit, here he comes. Your instinct is to not shoot it? Yes. Uh, then shoot it. <laughs> Shit, I knew it. We're gonna die. He doesn't seem so bad. Let's just give the baby the creep. Oh, ah! oh God! Go to hell, simulation! Ah! That was really overdrawn, but... Drawn out, rather.